Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Sacarini from PKL Physical Therapy with offices in Bethpage and Amityville, Long Island, New York. Matt Harvey, if you're listening, I'm here to give you a message. Do not have surgery. I know you've been treated by all the professionals and all the experts, and they tell you that surgery is the only thing that can help you get back to playing. They are wrong. And I'll stand here right to their face, and I'll tell them that they are wrong. They're going to have you, and I believe you're 27 years old, go under the knife to take out a rib. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? To take out a rib that's been there since you were born? Now all of a sudden that rib is going to pop up and say, hey, I want to cause problems now with your pitching. For real? I mean, common sense has to prevail here. I don't even know what your treatment's been, but I could sit there from my couch and know that it's BS that you're going to have surgery to take out a rib that wasn't bothering you last year or the year before, but all of a sudden now in 2016, decides that it wants to be a problem. It is absolutely absurd. It makes no sense. I know you're listening to these people. They are wrong. They are incorrect. And when they're done doing the surgery, they get to go home and you get to leave with whatever they leave you with. Okay? They are incorrect. I don't know what you may have. I don't know why your pitching's off. Okay? Maybe you have a rotator cuff strain. If you're having numbness down into your fingers, it could be from a rotator cuff strain. You know how many people have massaged, done a deep tissue massage to the rotator cuff back here and they felt symptoms into their hand? You know how many times I've massaged deep into the neck of patients that were slated for the operating room? But the doctor said, just go try physical therapy, get a little stronger before we do this surgery. I had three weeks, I had people getting off the table after two, three sessions saying, oh my God, I'm 50% better. And they cancel surgery. If I can do it with them, why can't I do it with you? Because you're a major league baseball player, is your body different than what their body is? Absolutely not. I'm just some guy in Long Island that you don't know because I haven't had a chance to get close to your team. I've called your agent, I've called your team, and I've told them, please do not let this kid have surgery. Let me check him out. If in two weeks he doesn't feel dramatically better, then have the surgery. What have you lost? Nothing. So you're going to have a surgery that's going to set you back six months for rehab, and then you might get back in a contract year? You might get back to what you were. Dude, they're going to kick you out the door, and they're going to say next to the next person coming in. If you can't see that writing on the wall, I've been watching sports. You've been watching sports for how long? You see these big-name guys. They're so good. They go and have surgery. All of a sudden, where'd that guy go? I don't know. He's not here anymore. They use him up, and they spit him out. I don't know why your agent hasn't called me back. I don't know why your team hasn't called me back. I know to them I'm a nobody. But I sure as hell tell you this. The patients that I treat in my two practices, they know who I am. I'm the guy who gets them better when the doctors tell them they need surgery. People that are told, oh, you have bone-on-bone -bone arthritis. You need to have hip replacement right now. They're still walking around 10 years later, no problem. The people that are told, your meniscus is torn. That's what's causing your knee pain. I get them better because they have a hamstring strain. That's what was causing their knee pain. The people with a herniated disc, like your teammate, David Wright. Really? That guy has a herniated disc in his neck? He just had surgery on his neck? He's also the same guy that had stenosis of his lumbar spine. Do you know what stenosis is? It's narrowing of the hole that the nerve passes through to go down your leg. Well, all of a sudden, it wasn't bothering him this year. What happened? The hole, the hole got bigger? These, these diagnoses are absurd. They throw them out there, and nobody bats an eye. Nobody says anything. It is absolutely ludicrous for you to have surgery on your neck. I can take care of it. Give me two to three weeks tops. If you don't feel like you're 60, 70, 80% better, then I'll leave. I don't care. I have nothing to lose. I have my two practices. They're going very well, knock wood. Okay, but I'm sick and tired of turning on the TV and seeing these people, these young, talented athletes like yourself that have gotten to the pinnacle of sports, whether it's NFL, MLB, NHL, what have you. You get to the pinnacle, to the very top. Then you get an injury, and you would think that you have the very best trainers that ain't the case. They're falling short big time. I had an NFL player who was cut from the Jets a few years ago. I did a deep tissue massage on his hip. And I said, don't you normally get this? He said, no. Nobody has ever dug in and massaged my hip like that. Now, I'm asking you, the treatment you've been getting, has it been effective? Has it just been some stretching, <clears throat> some stim, or some other ridiculous exercises? If it has, you have not been treated correctly.
you have not been receiving the adequate care that you need to get. And I don't care if your trainers hear me. I don't care if your staff hears me. I'm putting them on the line. I don't even watch sports. I can't even tell you what sport is in season right now. I'm so busy. But I can tell you this. It is very, very frustrating to watch the TV and watch athletes that are going under the knife that don't need to be. Okay? You're talking about a six-month rehab. I'm talking about a few weeks, and you're back to normal. There are many things that may be causing your symptoms. Inflamed rotator cuff can certainly make the ball come out slower. Thoracic outlet syndrome, if it is, all the nerves that are leaving your neck to go down your arm, if they're being compressed by the scalene, by the pectoralis minor, by any one of those muscles, if they're not being treated correctly, then people are going to throw their hands up in the air and say, oh, I guess it's the first rib. How could that make sense? The rib never bothered you in college, in high school, in your first few, you know, few years of playing baseball in the, for the Mets. Now all of a sudden it's going to bother you? Some things have to make sense. These things do not, okay? If you're interested in taking care of the solution, taking care of the problem, I will give you the solution. I have the solution, okay? Give me a call, 516-605-1700. 516-605-1700. You want to have the surgery, knock yourself out. It's not my neck. It's not my rib they're taking out. It's yours, okay? I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to give you the gravity of the situation. This is your career. This is what you want to be doing for the rest of, for the next 15, 20 years, however much you want to play, your decision when you come out. Not because, oh, I had this thing with my neck and they did the surgery and it didn't work out. Oh, look, now I can't feel my fingers and now I'm just doing whatever at 30 years old. It is not fair. It is not right. Okay? I've, again, I called your agent. I called your team. Nobody returned my phone calls. Everybody just said, yeah, 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 we'll just pass it along. I don't know why the people that are supposed to be caring for you could care less. I'm for the player. Okay? The only thing I ever played was high school football and wrestling. That's it. But I'm for the player. I want to make sure that you guys that have gotten there, that have gotten to the very top, stay there and come out when you want to. Not because some care wasn't effective enough and you didn't get what you needed. And then you resorted to the operating room and some guy made a name off of you his business is, is booming and doing well, but you're out there lingering. You want to call me discreetly? I don't care. Nobody has to know that I treated you. Up to you. 516-605-1700. You give me a call. My name is Dr. Parsa Karimi. You can look up my website, www.tklpt.com. Okay? Call me before your surgery. You got nothing to lose, man. You got nothing to lose. Give me two, three weeks. If it doesn't get better... And I'll be the first one to tell you, yeah, you need surgery. But I guarantee you, man, I bet the farm that I won't be saying those words to you. Okay? You can get back this year and continue to play this year. You hold all the cards and decide where you want to go, who you want to play for, and when you want to leave this great sport of baseball. All right, man? Give me a call.